Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That, where the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interview some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. We also discuss inspirational stories, and we do these Tech Tuesdays to help you guys out there. Um, so today we're back with the either the Creality CR6 Max or the CR610. I mean, they're basically the same thing as far as the splicer that's uh, used. A um, little bit different. There's a little bit more things in with the CR610, uh, but uh, the CR6 uh, Max... Uh, we kind of wanted to go over a little bit and some of the issues that were encountered by both. Um, if you have this and you've downloaded the Splicer program, uh, what we're having here is we're having some issues with the... Uh, basically, when you download this or if you splice it and you save it, uh, save it for the Creality, it will actually say uh, that the G-Hub is not applicable or you can't resize it they have the you can't see on my screen here the little uh, sizing charts but if you guys are having this issue with the the g hub basically what what's going on here and the reason why you can't alter it or change it or do anything to it is because it's saving it underneath a different file format um, it actually needs to be saved underneath a, a file format that's called a stereograph, and that's what actually works best on ours. And it will allow you to edit or change it on the Creality Splicer. I don't know, you know, what the deal is here, but basically what it's doing is, it, let's say this one, it's here. You'll see uh, this little box, and it, let's say you wanted to make it smaller. and it, it, it won't let you resize it. It won't let you move it around. It will only let you print it, basically. Uh, so in order to get the proper file, you'll want to have a, what they call is a, a stereographic, uh, file. And when you download things from like Thingiverse or any of those, make sure you just put it in your file system and save it as that and save it as how they save it. Um, and it'll, it'll work fine and you can always reopen that. So as I said, you know, it'll save it as a basically some of the ones that it looks like the ones that we had some issues with them looking on our other screen here was saving it as a WRL file. Um, I don't know why it saves it as that. It automatically, even if you go into the settings and try to reset it, our 3D printer and actually why I'm looking on another screen is actually done on our other computer, not our OBS where I'm, you know, talking about this and kind of covering it. So yeah, the file that you always want to make sure that it's saved underneath it, it's, it's a stereo lithography file. Um, and it seems to always, you know, allow the G hub to coordinate when you are splicing it and or trying to make any changes to it, like a size with these, uh, the little extra, um, if you want to make it smaller or wider, taller, whatever, whatever you want to do, it will allow that. And then you can save it. Just always make sure you put into your separate files in your, your folders and save it that way. And it does work. So that's, this is an issue that we actually ran into and you weren't able to change or format or do anything to the 3d printing um that you were trying to add like pieces or parts to it wouldn't let you do anything um so it, it's it's all in the file format that's you know that actually works well with creality splicer and i don't know why it was saving it in in regards to that uh that file but it just doesn't work so just make sure that you do that something simple but irritating um so that will hopefully Help you guys out there if you're having some problems with the CR6 Max, CR610, whatever it may be, 3D printing, saving uh, with the Creality and the splicing system. If there's something that you guys have questions on, again, put it in the comments and or uh, in an email and we'll put a video out that uh, pertains to that. So we'll see you on the next one.